Welcome back to another Jay's Collect video, and we have finally made it to my Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2 slash No Way Home Doc Ock. Now, my parents got this for me for Christmas. They pre-ordered it on GameStop, but GameStop hasn't really shipped it out yet, so we're not quite sure why that happened. But we were at Target today, and I, I didn't find it. My mom actually found it when we were looking at the Legends aisle, and she pointed out, like, oh, look, it's there. And so I'm like, oh, wow, I literally did not even see that. Probably a reason why I didn't see that. But anyway, I'm so happy to have Doc Ox. Now, this finished off my Marvel Legends No Way Home reviews from the recent wave. Of course, there's still wave one from back 2021. And then if they ever release the Lizard or Electro. So with this now in my collection, I can do the ranking video down the road of the recent characters. And I can finally add this to my shelf. And that's really exciting. So without further ado, let's finally dive into this review. Taking a look at the front of the package here, we get like a Doc Ock on the front with his tentacles. We get the, we get a look at the Legends logo up there. And we get a look at the Spider-Man 2 logo. So it doesn't say No Way Home, but in the title, I title it Spider-Man 2 slash No Way Home. Because he was in both the movies. I guess this is his appearance from that movie, but we'll see. And yeah, we get a look at the side right here. The image of him. And of course, he is in that plastic free packaging. I didn't mention that. But um, we got another photo on the back here with him. And we get the Legends logo up there. That, that says Doc Ock. And then right here, we get another image of Doc Ock. So let me now crack this open and take a look at what he looks like. So it's in that cardboard box. I thought I'd kind of show you this process real quick. So this part just kind of folds down. And we can kind of see it's in the plastic little uh, mummified bag or body bag. And so I guess, how can I get him out of here? Do I kind of just slide him out? All right, so this must have some of his tentacles or pieces because I feel, well, A, it's in a smaller bag, but I can feel some stuff in there. And we can just, oh, we can just pull him out like so. Okay, there we go. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay, well, let's move that in a moment. But here's Doc Ock in that bag and I can feel his tentacles. So let me get him out and we'll take a look. So the box may still be in shot. I'm going to move that, but I'm still in the process of figuring out how to work with this. But when you take him out, his tentacles are kind of like wrapped around to a circle. So I guess this should be interesting. I'm kind of interest, interest, I'm kind of curious to see how this all works. So I guess we can pull that up. And of course, his other tentacles are in the back. So I'm going to have to actually place them on. But this is going to be an interesting process. So let me get this unraveled and we'll as we open these up real quick. On camera. Wow. Nice nice job, Jonathan. Nice job. Okay, there we go. So in here has tentacle pieces, or the claw piece, should I just say. So again, we'll take a, a closer look at these in one moment. We got one of those pieces. So that's interesting. It's kind of like the grab or grabby claws. We got two of those actually. Can we get more? All right, these ones are more for like, I guess, him to stand. And so I'm gonna figure out which way these go. We got two of those actually. Um, pretty neat. And we got two hands. Oh, I didn't realize he got hands. Okay. Well, again, we'll take up, we'll get a closer look at these in a moment. So yeah, let me now get these into his tentacles and we'll take a look at what he looks like. So again, the table's still a mess. This is not my normal review style. I just kind of in the process of opening stuff up but on the box there is something taped on top and i think it has more claw pieces so i'm gonna have to open those up too in fact just open this up i think it's, yeah because i could have swear there were more of those i just wasn't quite sure where they were so i guess they were taped on there so i can open this up like that and these one moves so that's cool so i knew there was more of those where the other one go it was right there on screen <laughs> you probably all saw it um so yeah, I usually try to keep these papers. I know it's kind of silly just for the papers, but I kind of give it up on that dream because some of them are ripped and some of them are, I don't know. Well, how long does it take the man to struggle to get into the, <laughs> the little plastic bag? There we go. Nope, we're still not there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, these one move. So that's pretty cool. That oh, goes this way. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. I wish we had even numbers of like these and then the other ones, but 
Uh, these will do. These are a little sticky, though, so that's interesting. But, um, okay, let me now get the tentacles on, and we'll take a look at Doc Ock. All right, so here we have Doc Ock. It's a bit uh, zoomed out and everything, just so we can get the shot of all the tentacles. But with that said, let's take a look at the accessories, then we'll take an up-close look at Doc Ock. So up first here, we get two open hands for Doc Ock, which is kind of cool. I I mean, you know my thoughts. I'm not a big fan of, like, just hand accessories. I prefer to get, like, actual things they can hold, which, I mean, again, if they're, if they're needed, it's under they, I don't mind, but still. He has two fist hands inside of his arms right now, but these ones aren't really meant to hold anything. They're just kind of, they're really, like, wide open, so they're just kind of like your normal hand accessories right there, but, um... Yeah, we got those two. Oh, there goes one. Um, like I was saying, we got those two hand accessories, like, right there. So with that, let's now take a look at the tentacles. I guess going from smallest to biggest, we got these two different... Well, they're the same, but we get these two um, tentacle pieces, or, like, claw pieces, I guess, or not really tentacles, that can open up and close. So you can have them, like, he's talking to them, like, in the movie. Um, close them up like that, so... Uh, I just want to say, I haven't really uh, experienced this, but just maybe be careful when you are messing around with these. These probably could snap off if you, I don't know, bend too hard on one, which I don't know why that one's not sh um, shutting all the way. But you can see this one can. And so, we do get these like little ridges on the inside of the tentacles right here. So, it's very cool to have two of these. I do wish we got four of each variant so like we got four of these four of the big ones where you can stand or i guess really technically you only need two of those so maybe not four of those but um for the other tentacle that they have in this set so um yeah but that's a look at these two tentacles let's not take a look at the other claws i mean all right so we have these two open claws are kind of a bit extended out now it literally just looks like one of those arcade claws from the arcade machines um but these have a little red dot in the middle indicating that the claws are in control currently and so that's pretty cool and they still have some more rigid um details on the inside i don't know if you can see it but when you have it in hand you can kind of feel it and these ones do not move at all so they're just kind of stationary in that um pose and everything i guess here's a look at the back there are there are holes on the back of each of these claw pieces so you can um, peg it into the tentacle, so that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, here's a look at that again. And they should be the same. There's nothing really different about these two um, different claws and everything. So yeah, kind of like I was saying with the last one, I kind of wish we got four of these ones. And so but besides that, it's nice to have different, I guess, variants of these cloth pieces. So with that, I'll take a look at the final one. These ones are the ones that are kind of like way um, wide open, kind of spread out for him to stand. So just kind of go like that. I think that's the way it goes. You do get another hole on the bottom right there to peg into the tentacles. You get a look at this. Um, or maybe they go like this, actually. Did I show that? Did I show it that way? I think it's like this. I don't know if I showed it like that a second ago. But um, you get two of these. And unlike the other ones, I am happy when we got two of them. Because we don't need two of these on top. Um, but yeah, just more of that. Should be the same detailing. Just kind of stretched out a bit like the others with the rigid details on the inside here. And I believe that's basically the same piece just kind of all around. So let's take a look at the back here. So, yeah, it's kind of cool we got two of these, though. So, that's a look at all the accessories that came with Doc Ock. Let's now take a look at the Doc Ock character. Here we have Dr. Octavius, played by... I'm blanking on the actor's name. I don't, I don't know why. Um, it may come to me during the video, but you all know who, is, who he's played by. Um, got some brown goggles. Got his hair. So, I'm so happy that this character finally came in the mail. Or I guess we found it at Target because my other one didn't come. And these tentacles not, cannot come off, so they're going to be kind of in the background of the entire review. Got a look at his, I guess, his trench coat. There's like two layers on it. So this will kind of hinder his arm, or not his arms, but like his leg articulation a bit to go back. But it is like a soft rubber and everything. Move it. You get like a black shirt underneath with some black pants and some interesting belts right there. So we got that. 
moving down to the feet, you can kind of see them right there. His like shoes and everything. Are they boots? No, they're shoes. So look at that. And I guess kind of twisting them around here. We go look at the back of the character. And again, like I said, the tentacles are kind of already still like embedded into the back of him. So you can't take them off, which is fine with me because now they won't like, I don't know. They won't come off, you know, you know, like when you're messing around with him or like playing with him or just playing with him. Um, but you can like move those a bit. It's like a rubbery, or not a rubbery, but like a bendy wire inside there. But I guess speaking of the tentacles, let's kind of take a look at them real quick. They are quite big, and in order to get kind of an up-close shot, I'm going to keep it the same position here. I'll just kind of move along. I haven't put the claws back in, but again, you get this rigid texture on the tentacles. It has a nice feel to it, honestly. Um, I am happy that they didn't do half of the red or like a full-on red variant when uh, the nanotech went on the Dr. Octopus. I remember when I think this, this was first rumored, um, I, I didn't make a video about it, but I kind of thought in my mind about, I hope they don't do that because that would be a good way to make a spy too. But they went for the normal Spider-Man 2 slash No Way Home Doc Ock, so um, I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, this should be the same same design for all the tentacles. And there's that little peg that will um, go into the hole in the claws. And so, and like I said, you can bend these however you want. You can go like that. Okay, I decided to, I decided to zoom out. Um, you can go like that, like that. And I do hold their position, so that's kind of nice. So yeah, there's not too much else to say about the Doc Ock character. Again, I know this is kind of, some parts are um, out of shot, but in order to at least see Doc Ock, I kind of have to do this and have part of the tentacles out of shot. So with that, let's now take a look at the articulation for Doc Ock. So you can turn his head 360 degrees. He can um, put his head down that far and go back that far. So um, decent range of motion there. It can go side to side, twist 360 degrees. Sorry if you hear the tentacles in the background. Let's see if I can get those to stop making that noise. Just pull them out a bit. So. Um, like I said, he, his head can go 360 degrees. He can move his arms 360 degrees. If he can move the tentacles out of place there, but it can go 360 degrees. Just make sure the tentacles are in the way, like that. You can pull his arm out like that. He feel like I feel like he has small arms for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you can bend at the elbow like so. Twist at the elbow. You can twist at the hand there. He has a little wrist articulation there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it should be the same for this arm. Pull out that far, can bend the elbow. I always have trouble doing this arm for characters for some reason. Okay, that took a bit of work for some reason. I got his elbow to bend in there. He can twist out the hand as well. He's gonna have that same wrist uh, little articulation there, go back and forth like so. Now can I get his elbow to bend back? There we go. And so that's a look at that. Um, I don't know if he moves at the waist. If I, can... I think he does. I hope he does. He goes side to side a bit, but I don't know if he can do a full 360, 360 degrees. It's kind of hard to move it with the tentacles on the back of him. Um, he can do the ab crunch, maybe? Okay, he can do a little bit, I think. I, I think I'm not making that up. It's kind of hard doing this with all the tentacles and everything. So I think he has a smidge of an ab crunch. Go back and forth, or maybe not. Maybe I was just moving him myself. Okay, actually, I'm going to take that back. I don't think he has much of an ab crunch. Let me know if he does, but from what I can tell, I don't think he does. Um, his legs can go that far out, can bend at the knee, like so. And he can bend at the foot. Maybe. There we go. Do that. Go down to that far. And then you can also twist side to side. And you can twist at the entire leg joint. So, got that. And it should be the same for this foot or leg also. Bend at the knee, bend at the foot, and then bend back that far or forward, I guess. And then you can go side to side with the foot. And you can go 360 degrees with that leg. So, um, let me do some articulation because of the tentacles, I guess, and also not much of the waist movement. 
Um, but really, you're not going to be doing a lot with this character. You just need him to stand and to be able to like, push his feet down like that, like he's floating in the air. And just let the tentacles do all the work here. So speaking of that, let's first of all, let's see if we can get him to stand with the tentacles on. Like, actually stand with his legs and everything. So, I won't be surprised if he can't. You may have to just do some work on him, but um, he doesn't really want to... When it stands. So let me get the tentacles back on and we'll take a look at what he looks like standing with them. And I guess we'll try to get him to stand without them. So I know I said I was just going to show you um, him standing, but I thought I'd show you just how I put these on. So you just got to put them in the hole like that and just kind of push it inward. They do come off kind of easily, but when you get them on, they are on. This is for his um, standing position. I think it goes. I keep forgetting how it goes. I know you can see that on camera. It goes like that. So we then insert this into the hole like so we got the tentacle here is the next tentacle and so again they're just super easy to snap those on there's not really a snapping noise you just kind of got to push it in and there we go all right so now that all the tentacles are back on now let me get him in a standing position all right take 97 um here we got Doc Ock finally standing. I had to kind of pull his tentacles like forward towards him. So like that way it can support the, the front, but then his back kind of, or his body just kind of supports the back of the the weight and everything. I don't know. I don't know if that made sense, but he's now standing. It took me a, a couple of tries there, but we have the tentacles on the ground right there. We're holding him up. He is just a little bit off the ground. He's not fully standing on the ground, but um, he is floating. I really don't, I don't think you're going to be able to get him to stand without like the tentacles like holding him. Cause like, with all that weight right there, it may be kind of hard to get him to stand on his own. But uh, we have that, and of course you got that tentacle right there, and then the one that's reaching all the way up there for something. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just happy I got him in a pose and everything, and yeah, this is going to be one of those action figures where you don't really touch that much. And so, with that, I think it's a wonderful figure. If I had to complain about one thing, it's the fact that um, his, it's really hard to get him to stand. If you can get him in this position, he'll stand. But besides that, if you want him in other positions, it may be kind of hard and frustrating. But um, another little minor thing, I kind of wish we got matching like all four of those uh, two variants, like those ones on top and the ones that open and close. Um, we don't need two of those ones down there. But um, yeah, just that's like a little minor thing. But the real thing is that it just it's hard to get him to stand. And I, besides that, I think he's a wonderful character. It costs thirty dollars, which is kind of expensive. Normal Marvel Legends characters twenty four dollars or twenty five dollars. So um, this is less expensive than Green Goblin. He had a glider, but um, yeah, that's the final deluxe Spider Man No Way Home Marvel Legends action figure. Of course, if they ever release Lizard or Electra, I'll do videos on that. But for now, we have all the Raimi villains that I think about. So that's kind of cool. So with that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of this action figure, and do you have it? And yeah, so with that, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.